وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين In this great Quran of Allah, the Quran consisted beautiful supplications of the prophets that had passed before us. And I like them very much. Among them is the dua of Sulaiman alayhi salam. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Hatta idha atau ala wadin namli qalat namlatun ya ayyuhan namlu dkhulu masakinakum la yahtimannakum Sulaiman wa junuduhu wa hum la yashuru. When they passed by the valley of the ants, one of the ants spoke. O oh, ants, the ant is speaking. O oh, ants, get back to your places, to your valley, to your houses. Sulaiman and his soldiers may crush you while they don't perceive it. Crush. Why? Are they fiber? Are they glass? The answer is yes. Subhanallah. They were described nowadays that their skin looked like very thin glass. That's why the word yahtim to crush was mentioned. Whereas like people like us, we may say another word. But not yahtim. If someone stepped on me, we don't use the word crush. Anyway, this is another topic. Look, Allah is making a challenge. He's talking about the speaking ant in the surah, titled as the surah of ant. Those who want to oppose the Quran, they won't find it difficult for them to find the surah. It's not difficult for them to find the surah. Surah to Namil, they, they open the surah, they find that the Namil, the ant is speaking. Today, science has to put their head down and say, yes, the ant speaks. Small talk, very small talk. Scientists have long studied how various creatures communicate, dolphins in the water, chimpanzees on land, birds in flight. But insects, could they possibly have anything to say? Well, when it comes to the tiny ant, it turns out the answer may be yes. Here's Nick Watt. Ants live in highly structured societies. They are masters of architecture and even agriculture. And now, scientists tell us, ants actually talk to each other. Were you surprised by what you found? We were. Yes, we were surprised. <laughs> but they do have a kind of language. Look at the back end of the ant, that's the abdomen moving up and down, vibrating. That's how ants make noise, that's how they, I suppose, talk to each other. Scientists made these startling discoveries by accident while studying the large blue butterfly. They watched butterfly pupae trick ants into taking them to ant nests and nurturing them until they hatched. Why? Well, amazingly, the butterfly pupae imitate the ant queen's distinctive voice. Butterflies have learned to speak this mysterious ant language, a language humans have only just discovered. Nick Watt, ABC News, Turin. They discovered it. They brought very, very tiny, sensitive 
microphones and they saw the ants standing before another and speaking, making noise, speaking. Despite their small size, Allah does what He will. Allah does what He will. And I, as I said, this is not a topic. Then Sulaiman, as he was hearing this, the speech of the ants, he smiled. And he said, Oh Allah, help me, enable me. And Oh Allah, support me, help me, that I keep being thankful and grateful to the favor that you granted me as well as my parents. وَأَنْ أَعْمَلَ صَالِحًا تَرْضَى وَأَدْخِلْنِي بِرَحْمَتِكَ فِي عِبَادِكَ الصَّالِحِينَ And that I do a work, a righteous work. <laughs> Is that true translation, brothers? Is that correct one? And that I do righteous work. Is that correct? Yes or no? Ya ayyuhal mutakallimuna bil lughati al-arabiyya ajibuna wa an a'mala salihan tardahu That I do righteous work. Is that correct? Not enough. Why? The ayah says, Tarda. Tarda. That I make, that I do righteous deed that you approve and you are pleased with. Hmm. How many people seek to get closer to Allah by doing righteous deeds that Allah do not approve, do not accept? That Allah does not approve, that Allah does not accept. Go to the temples. See how much money they pay. Go to those Buddhists. See their type of pilgrimage. Do you know how they perform pilgrimage? If you see them, you say, Alhamdulillah for the Islamic pilgrimage. They have to cross hundreds of kilometers, if not thousands. And they keep crawling. With their hands, they go down and they stand up. They go down and they stand up. They keep doing this. Long effort. Some of them may die on the way. They can. Doing what? They seek to please Allah. And Allah is not pleased. Does this bring them one step closer to Allah? No. But it brings them more distant from Allah. How many people do things thinking that they get close to Allah. So, why did I, why was I focusing on the translation? Because Sulaiman salam did not say that I do a work, righteous work only. He said, Tarda. And the conditions of the righteous work to become righteous are two. No shirk, no bid'ah. And by Allah, people are swimming between those two problems. In their righteous work, either they commit shirk or they commit bid'ah. And with this, the work will not be accepted, will not be approved. Allah la yarda hadha al-amal. Allah does not approve, is not pleased with this kind of work. So be careful. Only this? No. There are problems with people's work as well. Such as, there are people who come to this masjid, mashallah, they come with their buddies. Yes, there's no doubt. Do I see your buddies? Yes. But they forget the, to bring with them their spirits and their souls. Their bodies are standing, but the souls are not here. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ لِي لِي what? لِي 
لي where are the disciples of the Quran where are the circles of the Quran وأقم الصلاة لي لذكري and establish the prayer for my remembrance not for the remembrance of your family not the remembrance of your job not the remembrance of your work not the remembrance of the life not the remembrance of your future but I hope and the Prophet hoped that you establish the prayer also with the remembrance of your death and that you do not remember the Prophet said remember your death in your prayer because when remembering your death in your prayer this remembrance will return you to the right standing before Allah remember the moment you are being lifted up no money with you no support no soldiers only your actions that's all what did you take from this life small garment just like that what do you call it shrine shrine is that right right coffin 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 you take your coffin and that's all and your family no offense please don't get angry with me your family is gonna say what did he leave we love you <laughs> what did he leave yeah they may cry for a couple of days then that's the way of life they have to make calculation how much I, how much is my share and there will be people at the same time waiting for you to die in order to take their share that's life my dear so Allah said aqim as-salata li dhikri establish the prayer for my remembrance you know brothers there are people who remember everything in their prayer except remembering Allah that they are standing before him wallahi they forget that they're standing for, for their stand is, is, is dedicated for Allah. Yet they're not thinking about Allah. They think about their affairs, <laughs> lively affairs. So be careful, brothers. Allah said, establish the prayer for my remembrance. Look, if you lack your, your amal salih, if you lack it with shirk or bid'ah, or lack of attendance, or lack of knowledge how many people they keep doing the wrong thing in their worship based on someone who told them such and such and they keep doing the wrong thing for many years and they do not get back to book and sunnah there are people who are not happy with your advice when you tell them brother this is bid'ah don't do it I saw a brother who came and do, did this. Ya akhi, why do you do it? Where did you take it? Where did you get it? From where? There's no book or sunnah regarding this. The Prophet never did it. The Prophet never advised people or made this as a sunnah to the people. Why do you do it? Does it bring you closer to Allah? It doesn't. They say when the name of the Prophet ﷺ is mentioned, you do that. Okay, you say that. But who told you? Do you know that this is based on nothing? Wallahi, nothing. I searched it for a long time. And I did not even find any athar or hadith regarding it. Abadan. It's based on a lie. Someone claimed that there is hadith in Musnad al-Firdaus regarding this and I checked this book from A to Z and I did not find anything so people do things thinking that they, they got closer to Allah why didn't Allah no one can get closer to Allah by doing something that Allah did not order them to do 
or the Prophet ﷺ. So this is a problem. That's why when we remember, when we read this ayah, brothers, we remember the importance of doing doing the action that fits, that is suitable, suitably fit to the book and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu The book of Allah and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu To be approved. Otherwise, you'll be regretting, regretting the day of judgment saying, Oh Allah, I didn't know. Yeah. You know what? There are Christians and Jews and Buddhists and pagans who are going to say the same thing. We did not know. I should know. Here's book and sunnah. Everything is made, had, had been made ready for you. You just need to seek knowledge from its proper sources. Otherwise you're responsible. So not only the non-Muslims are responsible for not taking the choice of becoming Muslims, but also the Muslims are responsible for not seeking the proper sources of their deen, book and the authentic sunnah of Rasulullah That is why, remember, when you pass by this ayah, وَأَنْ أَعَمَلَ صَالِحًا تَرْضَى this is, our, this is our attention, this is our goal in our worship, that Allah will be pleased with the worship you do to Him. Jazakumullah wa khairan wa sallallahu ala muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Mm -hmm. That's too much. Yeah, it's not, may not be good. No. So I, I for something. Either this sheikh or we have two projectors there. So whenever we have lecture, they'll be coming here. That would be great, if possible. This, from here, yes, it will be good, but not facing the speaker. No, no. Just in the Buddha area. Have you seen the bird with the 200 watts? Mm. Have mm. you seen that little one? Yeah, I think yes. Have a look with you. Yeah. In the wood area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. And it's 200 watts of light. When you put it up? Yeah, it's about our time, yeah. So I'll put that up there. Okay. Have a look if you like it. Inshallah. Inshallah. Jazakallah khairan. Barakallah fiqh.